Hi guys, welcome back to another tactic tester video today. Today we are testing the Red Bull tactic by Lisa. So we have a 4-3-3 asymmetric formation. The striker is over to the right while two attacking midfielders over to the left. So we have a sweeper keeper on defense, two inverted wing back on support, two ball playing defender on defense, two winger on support, and then one box box midfielder on support, two attacking midfielder on attack, one advance forward on attack. So we are an attacking mentality in possession. We're gonna attack fairly wide, pass in space, or left, right, and left. Play our defense slightly more direct, much higher passing tempo. Low cross into the box, work into box, run the defense. In transition, we're gonna counter press when possession has been lost. Counter when possession has been won. Distribute to the fullbacks by goalkeeper. Throw it long for the goalkeeper. Out of possession, we're gonna use offside trap, much higher level of engagement, much higher defensive line, defense narrow. Use tighter marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in. So, advanced forward on attack, we have take more risk, dribble more, tackle harder, mark tighter. Attacking midfielders, both have the same instructions. Take more risk, dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels, tackle harder, mark tighter. Two wingers, we have different. The left one have take more risk, cross from byline, hold position, close down more, tackle harder, mark tighter. The right one has cross from byline. Close down more, tackle harder, mark tighter. The box to box midfielder have no specific instructions. The inverted wing backs both have the same instructions. Take more risk, shoot less often, tackle harder. Ball playing defender, we have the same instructions as well for both of them. Pass the shoulder, dribble less, shoot less often, stay wider, tackle harder. Super keeper on defense, we have it on pass the shoulder, take few risk, tackle harder. Corners, we defend it like this, while on attacking corners, we attack it like this. So, the team we're gonna use today are both from Liga North, which is the Portuguese league. First of them is FC Porto, and the other one will be SC Braga. So now we're gonna see where they're gonna predict finish. Porto predicted to finish second, while SC Braga predicted to finish both. The main reason why I picked these two teams is because they have enough attacking midfielders, in my opinion. Maybe Braga has the better attacking midfielders compared to Porto. Because Porto usually playing a 4-4-2, but we will see when we sim it forward and see how it goes. Let's go! Okay, we are now into end of season. SC Braga, surprisingly, is a champion. 80 points, while Porto only finished at 4, 68 points. Uh, let me see Porto. Hold on a minute, we actually get sacked by Porto. Uh, we go back to Braga and then see when did we actually get sacked. Okay. So we got sacked to roughly two months ago. Oh, March 12th. So when do we get sacked? Marcelo Bielsa coming in for us. March 12th. Here. In the end, it's we when we won the Champions League knockout leg for them. Okay, get knocked out by Inter in the end, in the aggregate by 3 1. But. It's weird, we just get sacked. I know Porto did really well in the end with Bielsa. They literally won all their game except losing to Braga. Uh, it didn't really do that well with Porto, just somehow really. Maybe because, like I said, the Porto doesn't really have enough good attacking midfielders, I think, compared to Braga. So we probably gonna focus more on Braga because Porto's results are not that relevant anymore due to Bielsa coming in and then playing a different formation. So we're just gonna look at Braga, I guess. So Braga have Joao Novais as the top goal scorer, 19 goals. He's the attacking midfielder, okay. But being the top goal scorer, okay. So what does the striker do? He also got 40 assists. Wow, that's crazy. Scoring the most goals in the league, conceding 23, which is second best in the league. Got the most yellow cards in the league. Uh, red cards, both highest three. So we'll look at the squad stats now. Okay. Like I say, Joao Novais, the top goal scorer, 19 goals. And then this guy, Wilson Eduardo, is he a striker? Finally a striker, okay, I guess he's really a striker. He played everywhere, also played as winger, that's probably why he didn't consistently scoring. Got 16 goals, and then Ricardo Horta, 13 goals, I think this is the winger. He can play striker too, but left mid all the time, okay. Then Ricardo Esgayo, 13 goals. 
a fullback. I think it's a right fullback. Also play wingers. Also play left back sometimes. Okay. Andre Hotta, 12 goals from where? Attacking midfielder. Okay, alongside Joao Novas. Rui Font, 11 goals as well. Playing as the attacking midfielder sometimes, also striker sometimes. Got 11 goals. The goal scorer spreads all around. We got lots of people on double figure. That's surprisingly good, in my opinion. You don't want your strikers just scoring goal and then the other players just not scoring, which is not good in my opinion. And then Raul Silva, 11 goals from center back. And then another center back of ours, Bruno Viana, 10 goals. Wow. And then this left back, Nuno Sequeira, 9 goals. Paulinho, 8 goals. A backup, but backup striker, I think. Yeah. Also play left winger sometimes. I think he's a decent striker. Why does he not? Being the first team, that's way so assist wise. Obviously, draw Novas 40 assists. Holy moly, 22 in the league, 12 in the Europa League. Very, very good. I guess he's the corner taker, also the free kick taker. That's probably why, but still very, very good. And then next up is Galeno 15 assists. Where does he play? Winger, okay, right winger. Next up is the left back Nuno Sequeira, 13 assists. Andre Hota is the attacking midfielder, got 9 assists. Diego Viana, the right back, also right mid, also left. Uh, wait, is he really? The... He's a different guy, isn't he? You only play right back and right mid, he's a different guy. I got confused with another backup earlier. 9 assists. And then this Francisco, 7 assists. Sorry for the pronunciation, I'm not the best at it, obviously. Central midfielder, the box to box midfielder guy, I think. The main box to box midfielder, I only got 7 assists, I'm surprised. Ricardo Hota, 6 assists, and then Ricardo as Gallo, 6 assists. I think this is the. Yeah, this is the right back, right mid slash left back guy. Yeah, I'm confused earlier. Chances created, we mainly got it, obviously, from our top assists. Joao Novaes, and then next up is Viana with 0.66, and then Sakira 0.63, Andre Hota 0.49, and follow up. Key passes, we have Joao Novas again, not surprised, and then this is a backup, and then Diego Vana, the right back, okay, right back mainly guy, 1.49, then Nuno Sakira, left back 1.44, Ricardo as Gallo, 1.2. 8, Francesio 1.21 in the league. Hold on, we also win this cup. Is this... Uh, this is like a proper Portuguese cup, right? Why Portugal got two Portuguese cup? Last time I did check about this as well. I know they got two cup, but I just never understand why they got two cup. Got knocked out in the Europa League. So in the league. We don't really have any top goal scorer, but we have the best player, which is Zoran Novas. He also got the most assists in the league. Five player of the match. Clean sheets wise, we have Mateos, our goalkeeper. 17 clean sheets. And then third in the table. Yellow cards, we have our Esgayo up there. So we will look at the team detail stats. Average possession, we have 7 and 51%. Yellow cards we have the most with 94. Red cards we have 3 with 5th place. We got the most goals in the league 88. 20 more than the 2nd place sporting CP. Cross completion ratio we also the best with 29%. Crosses completed we also the best with 333 completed. We also score the most from corners. And then pass completion ratio we are not best. 79% at 16 plays. Passes completed, we also not the best. We indeed are the last. 9,608 only, 18 plays. But we created the most chances, 119. 21 more than Benfica. Oh, sorry. 31 more than Benfica. Bad maths. Shots on target ratio, we are 7 with 49%. Shots on target, we have the most, 435. Have more shots on target than Benfica, like way, way lot. 122 more than Benfica. Wow, that's impressive. But the conversion rate, that's a problem. We only got 9% at 8 plays. Dribbles again, we have the most with 18. Sporting CP are first alongside us as well. Please consider Porto are the best, 19. 
but like I say, Porto's stats are not that relevant anymore as they took over by Bielsa in the end. Braga conceded 23 at second, not too bad as well. So looking at the schedule, we start off not the greatest in the league, lost to Benfica 2-1 straight away, but go on a very long unbeaten run here. Wow, just look at it. Got some big scores, but some of them are in the Europa League, so I won't go through them all. Lost another game here against Victoria, and then one nil away, not too bad. And then we only lost two games in the league. Wow, I actually didn't realize that earlier. 24 wins, 8 draw, 2 losses. Okay. Hmm. But in the other Portuguese Cup, we lost to Benfica 5 1 in aggregate in the semi final. We got knocked out by it, but in the Europa League, we got knocked out by Tottenham Hotspur 5 4 in aggregate. Not too bad, I would say. Like, Tottenham is not an easy team to go out against, especially with Braga. So, what about the other cup we actually won? I'm confused with the cup, let's think. So, we won the Taka da Liga, beating Porto in the final 2-0 to win it. I'm just curious how Porto didn't play well. Probably because, like I say, they don't really have any natural attacking midfielders, if that makes sense to you guys. We're actually gonna go back to the original file to see who can play a central attacking midfielder for Porto. So now we are back into the old save file here. So we have got the attacking midfielders. We have Otavio who can play there, natural as well. And then next up is Nakajima, the Japanese player, also a natural. The two of them natural now, not bad sign. Maybe the coming up. Okay, this is another youngster, natural, but he's not the greatest. Obviously, two star only in the team. And then next up is Sosa, also another youngster, that's probably why they didn't do that well with this tactic, it's my bad for not doing the proper research. Porto really not suited to play the tactics with a lot of attacking with it, that's my bad. But overall, I think this tactic is not too bad, as you can see, Braga, who are only pretty good at finish 4th, somehow able to finish at 1st place, also winning one of the Portuguese Cups as well in the process. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next tactic test I guess.